This is Gene Keyes, KDD, Texas News. The Secret Service has arrested an armed man near the Dallas home of former President George W. Bush, according to WFAA TV. The man had a gun when he was taken into custody. The Bushes are not home, according to their spokesperson. KHOU.com reports the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles has rejected a clemency petition that sought to keep convicted murderer Rodrigo Hernandez from the death chamber later this week in Huntsville. The board voted 7-0 to zero Tuesday against Hernandez's request. The 38-year-old prisoner is set for lethal injection Thursday for the 1994 abduction, rape, and strangling of 38-year-old Susan Vestergen in San Antonio. The woman's body was discovered in a 55-gallon trash barrel days after her disappearance. Her slaying went unsolved for nearly a decade until DNA evidence pointed to Hernandez. At the time, Hernandez was imprisoned in Michigan for assault and had to provide a DNA sample as a condition of parole. DNA also has tied him to the slaying of a homeless woman in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1991. The Associated Press reports authorities in Idaho say a Texas woman may have spent up to a week in a rental car stuck in a dairy wastewater pond after taking a wrong turn while looking for a hotel. Cassia County officials say 61-year-old Lynn S. Kiesler of Houston was evaluated by emergency medical technicians but refused to go to the hospital. The sheriff report says Kiesler thought she had been stranded for about three to five days, but a deputy gave her directions to the hotel on January the 15th. She walked to a nearby house for help on January the 22nd. The Times News reports the woman told officers she lived on M&M's and water and stayed in the car because she'd been told not to leave her vehicle if she became stranded. If you would like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News.